the best fighters to come out of France in a long, long time. Olympic bronze medalist as well. Solomon, welcome. Looking forward to fighting on Saturday night. Say a few words, please. Thanks, uh, Mushroom. Thanks, Edi. Thanks, everybody. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, it's a very, very good uh, fight card. I did a great tra tra training camp and uh, I can't wait to show you uh, who I am. Thanks. Thank you, Solomon. Let's go to Tommy Coyle. Tommy, what a story. I mean, I've seen your build up on your own social media for this. I think to say you're excited is, is a, a slight understatement, but can you quite believe it? I see you walking around and you get the chance on Saturday, not just to fight Madison Square Garden, but to be in a fight that could completely flip your career on its head. And I think the winner of this fight has to go on and challenge for a world title at 140 pounds. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I never in my wildest dreams thought I'd be fighting at the Mecca of Boxing, which is Madison Square Garden. And I'm so, so excited. But it's a huge, huge opportunity for me to, you know, go on and do something which I probably never thought had happened in my career. And, um, you know, with opportunity comes pressure, but without pressure you don't get diamonds. And I genuinely think Saturday night, I'm gonna go in there and shine like a diamond. I think it's, I think it's the right time for me. I've, I've improved as a fighter, um, and I'm really coming into my own now. And uh, I'm just mega excited. I keep laughing to myself. I'm waiting for somebody to tell me it's a prank. <laughs> I'm usually pulling the pranks, but um, it's happening. I'm here, and it's going off. How important is it to stay in the moment and not just get completely carried away with the excitement? Because you made some massive improvements over Jamie Moore. I know you both believe this is a fight that you can win. Oh, 100%. This is a very winnable fight. It's a great fight. Listen, Chris Algeria is a fantastic fighter. He's a better dresser. He dresses fantastic. I like his style. Um, but I really, really think this is a fight for me where I can really look good. Um, I'm not going to have to go find him. I just think the styles will gel fantastically. And I know I've got too much inside. Thank you, Tommy. I'm going to pass over now to Chris Algieri's promoter, Joe DeGuardier. Joe, welcome. And uh, this is a great fight. We've talked about it for a while. Um, Chris, we know he's, uh, he had his problems on fight week for his last fight, but obviously this is a fight that's going to take him back to change him for the world title. Yes, it's a pleasure to be here. Something really special, this fight between Tommy and Chris. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's going to be the battle of the mics or the battle of the ring, because both of them are great speakers, um, and Chris's history is just something special. We are, as a team, pleased to be here, Eddie, thank you, um, the zone, uh, taking over boxing, uh, it's a perfect place to watch, and be sure to tune in early on the zone, because this is going to be on early, it's going to be a great fight leading into the World Championship here at Madison Square Garden, the mecca of boxing. It's, it's always spectacular to be fighting at Madison Square Garden. No place in the world like it. Really looking forward to this fight between Tommy and Chris Algieri. Chris has been something special behind uh, and outside the ring, uh, between his interviews, between what he's done as a nutritionist, working with other fighters, but Inside the ring, he's been something special as well. And we remember what he was like being on the canvas twice in the first round, getting up, his eye completely closed, almost reminded you of the old days like Carmen Basilio with that eye completely closed. And yet getting up and beating Ruslan Provodnikov to win the championship of the world. I know Chris is hungry to get his title back. He's never lost 140 pounds. And Tommy's standing in the way. And Eddie has it right, the winner of this fight <coughs> probably fights for the championship of the world next. So we're looking forward to it and certainly looking forward to the whole night, Saturday night, on the zone here at Madison Square Garden. Thanks again and I'll turn it over to former world champion, Chris Algieri. Thank you, Joe. Chris, over to you, my friend. Thank you, Joe. Um, just first of all, I want to thank uh, Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing for putting on this amazing event. To my promoter, Joe DeGuardia from Star Boxing, uh, as well as Sky Sports, which is going to be great to be exposed to a whole new fan base out there. Um, to DAZN, which is the premier streaming app for, for all things boxing now. 
and a bunch of other things as well. But uh, I think it really is the wave of the future in terms of where we are now, where networks are starting to fall and apps are starting to become the major thing. So um, yeah, but this fight, this is this is a huge opportunity. This is this is exactly why I came back to the sport. I want to be a world champion. This fight with Tommy Coyle puts me back in that position. So I've got to go out there, not only win but look impressive and angle myself for another world title run. You know, this is this is like a, this, like I said, this is why I'm here. I'm feeling great. This training camp has been fantastic. Um, I have an opponent, Tommy Coyle, that 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 gets me excited to go out there, and I really think it's going to be a fantastic fight. Make sure you guys tune in. And uh, yeah, there's been a lot of talk about a lot of the stuff that I've been doing outside of the ring, but I want to go back to everybody talking about what I do inside the ring. So on Saturday night, I'm looking forward to putting on a great show and uh, coming out with the victory and moving forward. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. And talking about the fight briefly, I know we talked about this fight. You've been very excited about this fight because you told me you've watched Tommy and he's always in great fights. We can't really see anything but a great fight on Saturday between you two. Yeah, absolutely. Tommy Coyle is a, a blood and guts guy, trains really hard, um, you know, uh, gives it his all when he fights, and that's, uh, that's exactly what, what I need. That's exactly what I need to get, to get up and to, uh, to train hard and go out there and, and, and give me uh, a, a perfect foil for a great performance and uh, on, a, on, a, on a great card. So. Thank you, Chris. Um, the WBA International Light Heavyweight Championship on the line between Joshua Boetsi and Marco Antonio Perriman. Obviously, since the uh, announcement of Andy Ruiz on the card, there'll be plenty of Mexicans in the arena to support uh, Marco Antonio Perriman, who has long been an established figure, particularly at 168 pounds. Saw him lose recently to Yildirim, uh, who went on to challenge for the world title. Also went the distance with Badu Jack and many others as well. And uh, for Joshua Boetsi, who has been absolutely faultless as a professional so far, racked up 10 victories in extremely impressive style. Now, not only sits in the world top 15, also sits as British champion. And I'm delighted that he gets a chance to fight here because this is exactly the kind of stage that he should be fighting on. JB, excited, ready, you look strong, you look like you've had a great camp finishing off in Miami and ready to go on Saturday. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, good evening, good morning to everyone. Everyone's awake. <laughs> Come on. But now listen, it's a good opportunity. Um, Perry Band, like you said, a well-known Mexican, Mexican fighter. He's going to come bring experience to the table. And um, people are curious and everyone's almost intrigued to see what's going to happen. So it's up to me to go out there and to put on a good show. Um, I was hoping you'd be here, but I haven't seen him. But Saturday night, Friday, Friday, at the, at the way, we'll see each other face to face. And um, Saturday night it happens. Obviously, you've had a lot of quick victories so far. I think three consecutive first round victories and then a third round victory in your last fight as well. Um, looking to get some rounds. I mean, like I said, he's extremely durable, been the distance with some big names and former world champions as well. Do you expect some rounds on Saturday night or any way it comes? Yeah, I think any way it comes, man. Um, I've prepared to do 10. Um, if it goes to distance, cool. But again, if I sense any vulnerability or any opportunities there, I'll be there to take it and um, as long as trying to entertain people. So if it goes the distance, cool. If it doesn't, happy days. And finally, tell us about that experience finishing the camp in Miami down with AJ. Great setup down there as well. Obviously, both of you in great condition. For sure, it's a good well, experience. I'm well accustomed to the time difference now going into the weekend. Yeah, I, I better be, man. Um, for me, it was good just being in Miami. It's the first time I've been in um, the US overall. So it was good, good experience seeing how Josh does things leading up to a fight like this. Um, finishing off camp, like you said, in Miami and then coming to New York to add the final touches. So it was a good experience for myself. And um, as always, I'm observing, seeing how it's done. So one day when I'm there, I can do the same thing. <coughs> Thanks, JB. Look forward to that fight. <coughs> Antonio Paraban on Saturday night. Now, if you haven't seen Josh, pretty boy Kelly fight, you're in for a real, real treat. This guy is something else. I mean, despite the fact that he's disgustingly handsome um, and carved out stunning, uh, he is just an exceptional talent. Nine fights in, um, already picked up the WBA international title, already won the Commonwealth welterweight title as well, already ranked in the top 15, top 10 now in the world, and moving at a very, very quick rate. He has a brilliant fight. And I think sometimes a fight that can go under the radar away from the boxing people. We know that Ray Robinson out of Philadelphia is a great fighter. We saw him win 
against, I won't pronounce his name, but the, the Latvian contender in his last fight, who is top five in every governing body, won that fight clearly last time out. And Josh Kelly has a huge, huge step up on Saturday night, and one that I believe he will shine in and just light up Madison Square Garden on Saturday. Josh, this is made for you, my friend. And uh, Saturday night, you get a chance to defend your title at Madison Square Garden. Yeah, man, I feel um, I feel blessed to be here to get a chance to get a chance to perform on a world stage like this. Um, truly blessed. I mean, not many kids from Sunderland get this chance, so I mean, I'm taking it with both hands. But like you said, I've worked hard. I feel as though I'm ready for this step up. Um, I know Ray couldn't be there because of family problems, so family first, and I wish him all the best with that. And then hope, hope, hope his daughter gets better. But uh, I mean. I'm, I'm here now and I'm, um, I'm ready to put a performance on Saturday. I, can't, I really can't wait to get in there and um, it's gonna, I'm going to dance underneath them lights. And, and that's, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit surreal, but I'm excited. I want to enjoy it. I want to take it all in and I want to perform. That's the main thing, man. I can't wait. Obviously, you've been doing some amazing work with Adam Booth and he's just got so much belief in you to move at this pace. This is a massive step up, isn't it, in Robinson? Someone that's competed towards world level and really shown that he's a world class fighter. You're expecting a, a tough assignment on Saturday? 100 percent I mean the last the last fight he had was against Kavalowskis. I pronounced that. Well done, there, man. So yeah. Kavalowskis and he was um, he was ranked he was ranked highly like you said he was a tough opponent and a lot of people thought he won that fight so I mean this is a big step up and but I feel as all the way I've been performing in the gym the um the people I've been sparring um the way I performs, the way I can perform in the ring when I'm totally switched on. I feel so Ray Robinson will give us that test, keep your mind fully on the job and there can't be no time of complacency in there on Saturday and I'm, I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get the job done, come away with a W, sit back and relax and watch the rest of the card and hopefully all the British fighters um, do the same. Thank you, Josh Kelly against Ray Robinson on Saturday night for the WBA International World Away title with <laughs> Thank you.